Morning, welcome back. Beautiful skies there over downtown Vancouver. Hey, a lot of people heading outdoors this time of year. If you're going to the cottage, going down to the lake, or going down to the pool, you might want some gadgets on the go. And right now we're going to bring in our good friend, Mike Yanni, tech expert. Is there a lake in Calgary that you're at? Where are you today, Mike? Just outside of Calgary. Take a look at this. We're at Lake Chestermere this Ooh. morning. It's soaking in the sun because it is summer. It's summer, Thor, so we got to make the most of it. And that sometimes means taking gadgets with you to the beach or maybe you're heading to the cottage or the cabin or, you know, whatnot. Um, I have a question for you, Thor. Do you use e-readers? You know, I've been trying to get into them. I still like my physical books, but I'm always looking for new ones. So tell us about this latest. I know a lot of people do like the physical books, but I will say if you are going out for more than a couple of days instead of lugging those mm -hmm. novels with you because they can kind of be heavy and cumbersome, these guys really come in handy. This is the latest from Kobo. It's the Kobo Nia. Uh, this is really basically a, a starter e-reader or a basic e-reader. It's very budget friendly. It starts at 129, which is quite a bit cheaper than a lot of the other ones on the market. Uh, some of the things that I really like about it, are the fact that it's so light, right? right? It's so light and you can hold 6,000 books books in this little guy here. The screen is non-reflective. The resolution is uh, less than some of the higher end e-readers, but I really didn't notice it. A couple things I do want to point out though, because it is a little bit more budget friendly, they had to trim a few features. These are backlit so you can read them at night mm -hmm. and it looks like you're reading paper. I should point that out. It's not like reading on a tablet or a smartphone, oh, great. but because this one's a little bit more budget friendly, the color temperature is just the standard blue. So it's a blue light at night. If you pay a little bit more for a higher end model, you'll get ones that turn warmer and are easy to read on the eye uh, for the eyes so I will say for those who do a lot of reading you might want to pony up for another model that's a little bit higher but overall uh, this guy actually is pretty impressed with the Kobo cool okay 6,000 books good price there too tell us about Google's latest uh, wireless earbuds yeah, so you know, right now Apple seems to have cornered the market when it comes to you know their AirPods and wireless earbuds. But uh, this is one of the competitors that just came out this past week. I've got to say, Thor, the Pixel Buds 2. These are probably the most comfortable ear pods or earbuds I've worn yet. They almost have like a little corkscrew when they fit into your ear. I went running with these. Not once did I ever feel like they were going to fall out. So I love the fact that it was like that. It almost makes a little seal. There's no noise cancellation, uh, but it actually blocks quite a bit of the exterior noise, even though there's a vent so you can still make out some of the sounds. Uh, sound quality was awesome. Uh, here's one thing I didn't like about them though. Battery life. Only about four hours. Uh, hmm. Four to five hours on a one charge. I, you know, when you're paying $240 for for a pair of wireless earbuds. Sometimes you want a little bit more and I thought there should be a little bit more charge for that. But I've got to say overall. Okay. Sorry, lost there for a second, but uh, very quickly, uh, let's talk about the uh, Samsung Galaxy. Okay, yeah, so I think, you know, we should do a little bit of a giveaway. It is summer, so let's do a giveaway so for all the uh, BT Vancouver uh, viewers. There's going to be two parts of this giveaway. First, okay. the Samsung Galaxy A71 smartphone. This guy, I've got to say, pretty impressed with it. It's got a four cameras on the back, a 64 megapixel camera. It's got an ultra wide. It's got a macro for those tight shots. Uh, and of course, it's got a great battery life. So love that. So Samsung Canada is giving us that giveaway. Woo. Plus, we're going to give away the Kobo Nia as well to one lucky BT Vancouver viewer. It's awesome. worth more than $700, Thor. That's huge, man. Okay, so email contest at btvancouver.ca, subject Galaxy, and you could walk away with those two items valued at over $700. Thank you so much. Enjoy your time uh, by, the, uh, by the lake today, my friend. Yeah, just chilling. Okay. I will. Thank you. We'll talk to you soon. That's our tech expert, Mike Yanni, and we'll be back.